Honorable Chair, Distinguished Delegates, I Bowen, Walakkam. At the outset, permit me to congratulate the Government of the Republic of Indonesia and its Foreign Ministry for convening this virtual 13th Bali Democracy Forum, which will deliberate this very pressing global issue. Every efforts by Indonesia to organize this event, despite the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, amply demonstrate its commitment to upholding democracy in collaboration with its partners in the Asia-Pacific region. I am convinced that the outcome of these deliberations will continue to promote dialogue on this important topic. The impact of pandemic has been multifaceted, creating an economic, social and healthcare crisis in global proportions. Sri Lanka has not been spared from the impact of this pandemic. While adopting recommendations of WHO and local health authorities to contain this virus, the primary focus of the government of Sri Lanka has been to ensure the preservation of life and the well-being of its citizens, particularly those who may be most vulnerable to the impact of this pandemic. To follow through on this policy, Sri, Sri Lanka's healthcare authorities have not only had to engage in meticulous planning, but also take decisive action. With a contact trace system and a vigorous testing program, Sri Lanka's health authorities have managed outbreaks through isolation and treatment of COVID-19 patients. The free healthcare system that has been in place in the country since 1951, complemented by a public healthcare system, has been vital to the success of this program. Sri Lanka has also made this crisis an opportunity to invest in the healthcare system so as to manage this pandemic and prepare ourselves to face any such crisis in the future. Beyond the health implications of this pandemic, it is clear that the economic fault out all of this crisis needs urgent attention both in short and long term. This is particularly the case for developing countries in Asia Pacific. To ensure that the most vulnerable in our communities are protected and their futures secured, the government of Sri Lanka has enacted multiple policies aimed at advancing their economic and social rights. This includes support for low-income families, the elderly, the differently abled persons, daily wage earners, farmers and those that are stakeholders in small and medium enterprises to build their resilience to the ongoing challenges. Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, democracy remains a tried and tested system that provides the ideal formula for nations to progress. It is well known that it is within a strong democracy that peace, prosperity and human welfare thrives. It is important to remember that the successful application of democratic principles during these times will remain dependent on them flourishing during normal times. In the current context of what can be termed as unprecedented period, the pressure on healthcare, personal freedoms, education, employment and trade among countless others is severe. As countries grapple with the health and economic implications of this crisis, the fundamental principles of democracy, including the freedom of movement, association, may be inadvertently compromised for the greater good of the society. It is in times like these that we as democratic nations must remember that these restrictions are temporary and stand for the democratic principles that have held us in good stead so far. As we consider the impl implications of the current situation on our democracies, it is vital to understand there is no one-size-fits-all system of democracy that is applicable for all nations. Taking into consideration the diverse nature of our societies, the social, cultural, and even geographic attributes, the application of democratic principles have been unique to each country. This, I believe, like all other differences, is something that needs to be understood and respected by all. With new surrounding breakthrough in vaccine development, the world looks on in hope that return to normalcy may be on the horizon. Being nations that value cooperation and partnership, particularly at the regional level, as exemplified by this forum, it is vital that we prevent any potential inequalities as nations seek access to vaccines. These vaccines must be available and affordable. Therefore, we must ensure that a 
coordinated approach is adopted so that all countries receive this vital vaccine and that no one is left behind. By doing so, we will be protecting lives and the true essence of democracy, a system that should work for all and not only for some people. Thank you.